This is America. Don't get you slipping up. Look how this I'm picking up. You can put the Welcome to the year of the Oreo. I am a cookie and biscuit maverick and I have made Red Bull Oreos. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Fusions and the year of the Oreo. <gasps> ah. Quick question. Has there been a flavour that you've wanted to do but have not been able to find, source the flavouring? Um, there probably are some but not that I can think off the top of my okay. head. You guys want to grab one each and then give it a whiff because I think you'll be he gets the most blown away on. by the smell of this. Do you it's actually like Red Bull? Because wow. you, you can't... I really can't. I can't drinks. really. I can't really drink it. But it's, heart it's, problems, it's, it's right? okay. But this is yeah. just the flavouring, right? This isn't actually. The, yeah, it's just a flavouring. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't have taurine or whatever. Heart problem is in. I have no heart. That's impressive that that um, smells um, like Red Bull. Like Red Bull, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even down to the, like the almost fizziness. Yeah. 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 The yeah, shell, the fruitiness. Yeah. But also um, weirdly kind of strawberry. Yeah. It's because it's weird that Red strawberry Bull sort does have a sort of fruity Which vibe. Wow. I'm not sure how this is going to be, by the way, because I'm pretty sure the bitterness will come through as well. It tastes exactly like Red Bull. Wow. Wow. Is it got sherbet in? No. I should clarify how I made this guy. It's very, very simple. Um, just Red Bull flavouring that you can buy from like eBay and whatever, mixed with the cream. Simple. Fair play to you, mate. Thank you, yeah. Very talented. I mean, it's um, it's. It's sort of gross. I'll be the first to say it. Mm. Um, I quite like it. Just agree. You guys, just because I made it, this isn't like I baked this or anything. I just mixed flavour into cream, so you can not like it. It's fine. It's weird. I don't hate it, but it's very weird. It. I can't say it works. I just massively, I, I massively appreciate just how it does work. Yeah. And how authentic the flavour is. Um. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm toying with whether I actually believe this is a product that could be made. Mass. Yeah. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that it, it works enough to go. Yeah, I could see Oreo yeah. making yeah. it. But at the same time, I think it's actually really good. I think it. I think it's got the flavour of. Um, it's got the flavour of the Red Bull, and it actually weirdly goes well with the biscuit. It does for me. Um, it's got. A sherbety fizziness almost, not, Very much not so. super strong, not sort of like, yeah I wouldn't say it's hugely apparent but it is kind of there. I would say though, Red Bull isn't one of my favourite flavours nope. in the world, so for that uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a high three. The quality of the product is good, the authenticity of the product is good, the, the flavours complement each other well, however, mm. just well. Red Bull flavouring in general isn't one of my yeah. favourite flavours so I'm you know I'm not gonna rush the shop to buy a Red Bull product. Um so for that reason for me it's a high 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 three. Uh, I would I would concur. Uh for the same reasons. Red Bull is is yeah and energy drinks in general. They're just it's just not a flavour it's not a thing I particularly enjoy. Mm. But I think the, the sweetness of the biscuit actually improves uh and works well with the flavour enough that um I don't sort of uh I don't really get the, the same look distaste for it that I normally do with the drink. So yeah, I, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'm mad for it. Mad for it, leave. Hey, um, mad for it, leave. Yeah, so I was toying with a low four, but I'm not going to go mental. I'm going to go high five. Uh, high five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go mental. <laughs> high five. One of the best products I've ever had. <laughs> Seven stars. Uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a very high three. Red Bull gives you wings. Um, I sort of feel like it's giving me energy. It's probably the massive amount of sugar that we've had yeah. this evening. Yeah, it's probably We've that. literally been almost exclusively eating Sweet. sugar for five hours. Wow. Fuck. Mental. Insane. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't think it goes great, but it, 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 is, it might even be one of the most authentic flavours I've made. Uh, so I'd give it a low three. What's your favourite homemade one so far? Cherry Cola. Yeah, I really like Cherry Cola, but it wasn't. I bloody loved the official Cherry Cola ones. Um, homemade one. I can't remember which ones we've done. Palmer Violet. Oh, yeah, Palmer Violet, 100% by You're far, gross. Easily. 
easily. Just remember that, yeah, one hundred percent palm violet. Incredible. Good flavour. Uh, you're you're all just weird. Palm violets are banging. No. Oh, so I'm gonna give. I'm gonna reveal the additional product. I uh, say so we'll do. Uh, we definitely can't fit in both, so we'll do one. So I've made another flavour of Oreo using a another food that I made. So I made Kinder Bueno spread and I've made using that spread Kinder Bueno Oreo. Which one would you rather review? Kinder Bueno spread or Kinder Bueno Oreo? What's Kinder Bueno spread? Kinder Bueno spread. What's Kinder Bueno spread? It's a mixture of Nutella, white chocolate, hazelnut, Spread, which basically tastes like the filling of Nutella, wafers, and Kinder Bueno. I'll try the Oreo. Stay tuned for that, guys. 